Building a legacy based on much more than basketball, Norfolk's own NBA ref Tony Brothers is taking a shot at something new, fine dining. Not eating in a restaurant, of course he's done that all over the world, but owning it. And as we celebrate Black History Month, the very busy entrepreneur went on a fast break to give me the assist, talking about his new business and inspiring the next generation on and off the court. Despite having to wade through the difficulties of a global pandemic as a business owner, Brothers Restaurant in downtown Norfolk is ready to make a full court press. The more I kind of reflect on it, um, the more I'm like, you know, it's, it's really something that's, that's really fantastic. Sort of like the crown jewel of the things that I have done over time. What a life Tony Brothers has lived. We'll come back here to take a look around, but first, let's take a look back. I was born in Norfolk, I live in Norfolk, and I will die in Norfolk. From Liberty Park to living in Chesapeake for a bit, before graduating from Booker T. Washington in Norfolk and ODU, he's powered forward to his dreams. All my life I have watched people just start at the bottom and work their way and build their way and keep building on it. For nearly three decades, we've seen him on national TV, game after game, city after city, calling foul after foul on some of the NBA's best. But what's even more inspiring is that he's taken a common love of the game and shown young people that there's so much more you can do. There's only about 400 players in the NBA and all the kids want to play in the NBA. You can be a referee, you could own a team, you could be in player development marketing. It's so many different things you can do. That's actually how we met, speaking to youth about the possibilities in life. Brothers has been on a mission for years to uplift the community in Hampton Roads. His nonprofit Men for Hope Incorporated supports underserved men, works with organizations providing services and resources for single women parenting young men, and promotes mentoring, education, financial literacy, and self-fulfillment. One of the reasons I started the nonprofit that I started was because I realized that others don't have that same opportunity, but they have the same circumstances. And thanks to his generous contributions, room 149 in the Norfolk State University Student Center is now the Dorothy B. Brothers Auditorium, named after the single mother who molded him into the man he is today. And I didn't think that a, like a kid with really low self-esteem, which I had, um, would be sitting here today talking with you about a restaurant that has my name on it. But here we are, in the place where he'll continue to serve up inspiration one plate at a time. Of course, I had to call a time out and get a taste for myself. It's really good. No foul on the play. This food is seriously a slam dunk. And while the pandemic prevents him from completely filling up this space just yet, word is spreading fast that the atmosphere here at Brothers is full of good vibes. Now, I asked him about his legacy, and he says he likes to focus on what's next in life, not what he's done, and most importantly, how many people he can help along the way. Tony is hoping, although Brothers is his first restaurant, it won't be his last. So maybe we'll be doing a follow-up on a Brothers at the Beach one day. We shall see.